Welcome back to STL Live. I'm Sarah Thompson, and we're discussing the Empowered Caregiver Conference with Sonia Dulik of Well Home Agency, or we're about now to get into the details of it. Uh, thank you for talking in the first segment about um, home health care and, and everything that Well Home Agency does. Speaking of which, two important things this month. It's National Home Health Month, is that correct? And National yes. Caregivers Month. So that yes. kind of helped... <laughs> sort the motivation for doing this event, is that right? Most definitely. There's over 44 million caregivers uh, in the United States taking care of loved ones in their home. Wow. Whether it be someone that's got a chronic disease, someone that has elderly loved one, um, or just someone that's disabled. So we just felt like what better month than now, November, to put this big resource fair on um, at St. Alexis Hospital and give these free resources to caregivers to kind of motivate them, but then also provide them with kind of just educational um, information to help them navigate their, their path and journey mm -hmm. and as a caregiver. Absolutely, because I think probably day to day you can get just sort of caught up in your world and there's other areas that you need to know about when you're in that situation and this would be the place to learn more about it. So it's coming up, mm -hmm. we've got it on the 29th, it's from 1 to 4. Who is this open to? It's free and open just to anyone who's a caregiver or just the public in general? Definitely. It's free to the public. So anyone that's a caregiver can log right onto eventbrite.com or they can go directly to our website and get more information about how to register. It's not really a paid registration, but it's just free so that we can keep track of who has RSVP for the okay. event. So. Um, I'm looking at the, uh, at the agenda. So let's kind of go through this home safety tips, uh, respite care, fall prevention management, dementia and ambiguous loss, legal issues, a little meditation, chair yoga meditation exercise, and then palliative care. Maybe let's kind of dive in with fall prevention because that's something that is really happens a lot, uh, causes a lot of injury, sadly sometimes even death, but we don't really talk about it that much. So you want to get in some details about the fall prevention management? Definitely. Sometimes dementia can play a part into falls. Um, it could just be that um, they have vertigo or just they're, they're off, their mobility is off. So we actually send caregivers in to take care of them and make sure they get back on track as far as being able to use different supporting devices to get them back on track. They might need to modify their home in some way to make it safer for them to move along um, on their daily life. So we are going to have a speaker there to kind of just talking about how they can prevent falls and how important it is to watch over loved ones and to make sure that they are safe and that they don't go to the emergency room or get readmitted to the hospital due to those And is falls. that something that if you find comes up a lot in this area where people are having to kind of reposition their homes? To, to be able to manage the care so that falls are prevented, so you're not up on the second floor. That's correct, yes. Mm -hmm. And it could just be um, as simple as changing a certain carpet um, in, in it, or you know, changing out a coffee table or something of that nature. Mm -hmm. um, but the speaker that will be talking at the event about fall prevention will kind of give them some tips you know, of, of how to modify mm -hmm. easily and simply. Okay. And I know you've got this chair, uh, chair yoga meditation exercise, and I think that's great, again, when we talk about that, learning to sort of relax, whether you're the caregiver or the one being cared for. For, but this kind of segues then to respite care. Yes. And you talked a bit more about you talked a bit about this in the first segment, but maybe elaborate on this. Uh, elaborate on this uh, for the conference. It says, "What is respite care, and when is it time to ask for help?" Sure. A lot of caregivers don't even know what res respite is or or why they might need it. Um, but a lot of times, if they are becoming overwhelmed, they need to know that there are short-term options that they can call a home health agency, um, whether it be two hours or if they need you know 20 hours a week mm -hmm. of of time where they can go out on their own and get their hair done or just go out for a bite to eat um, or run errands um, you know, without worrying that their loved one is not going to be taken care of so that they can take care of some of the personal needs that they may have. Um, so any home health agency, they can just Google them um, and find out you know, what the options are out there for respite to, mm -hmm. to get just a breather in. Yeah, I feel more and more we're hearing about this because if the caregiver is so exhausted, it actually seems to have you know, sort of negative effects on that, that person being cared for because they're just so overwhelmed. Definitely. Yeah, no, this yes. is a lot of great information. So people go check it out. It's, it's coming up on November 29th. That's a Thursday. And you can be a caregiver. It could be somebody in your family. Or if you're just really in need of more information in this area, uh, in this field of discussion and area of discussion, please go check it out. It's Thursday, November 29th, 1 to 4 p.m., entirely free to go to. And all the details can be, uh, tickets are at eventbrite.com. Yes. But more details about the event are also on your website at wellhomeagency.com. Well, thank yes. you so much for being here. This is really important information. I know a lot of people dealing with this as their parents age as well. So thank you again for being here. Thank you for having me. All right, well, there's more STL Live right after this. Please stay with us.